Hello everyone, today we finally landed Jack the Ruthless Pursuer, and I gotta say, I actually really like this one. I was kind of surprised how well it worked at five stars. Yes, I did throw a full set of Mythic gear on it, which did help a ton, and we did also pop an Onslaught, took it to level 25. So Jack is part of the Horde faction, and he is a dealer agility, meaning that he can wear the dealer artifacts, and for the gear itself, has to be the agility. So the active skill Disease Stinger is going to be attacking the enemy in the back row that's the closest and doing 180% attack. This will also be applying two stacks of tetanus and that tetanus is going to be doing 55% of the attack and it'll be hitting for three rounds. What I really like about it though is it's going to be reducing the enemy's attack by 13% and their crit rate by 17%. Now the passive skill Rusted Sword will be attacking the hero in the back row that's closest at 145% attack damage. And I would say kind of think of how Golan is on it with going and just, you know, whoever's lined up with you, if it's nobody lined up, it's going to be kind of hitting whatever is the closest. But either way, you can see I just lined mine right up with Bazam there and we're hitting them every time. Now the passive skill Forbidden Drug is going to give a dodge rate plus 30% and crit defense plus 30%. And I couldn't really see too much of this one here of every 1% of HP loss, you're going to get a 0.6% increase to your dodge just because we weren't really taking hits. But figure if you took all the way down to 1% of your HP, that's about a 59% to 60% dodge rate increase. Keep in mind though that in this game, a dodge is not a complete miss. It just means you're only taking half the damage. At the same time, we'll be recovering 75% of our HP of the damage dealt based by that tetanus. And this one here kind of answers my question of the whole shield that was getting removed inside the game. This is Madness Hyena, and whenever removing a buff from a hero, you're going to be getting an attack buff by 12%. And I was seeing the shield go away, I thought it was working the same way that Benzel's Acid is, but unfortunately, the shields are considered buffs inside the game, so that's all it was. And that attack plus 12% will be lasting for two turns. When it comes to the Awakened Skill Infection, when Tetanus actually kills a hero, it's going to be spreading over to all adjacent heroes. So in other words, it's going to just kind of spread out like the plague that will be doing 80% of the attack damage for three turns. And even the active still only being 55% of the attack, having four stacks of this on Bazam and only being at five stars when I'm thinking like we're up in the later 400s, almost 500 for tower level, it was actually kind of insane to see it actually doing a good job of dropping them. When it comes to the rune, I think it's a no brainer to just slap an onslaught on there, stack some attack, maybe even some crit rates on it. If you get a divine, I'd probably say a grim reaper and a mighty despair, either of those ones would be a good substat to put in. Really have to crunch the numbers to see how it performs, but I think either one will still be pretty close. As far as the artifacts, I just threw a necklace of sacrifice because I don't really have a lot. Still not really seeing any legendaries. We're on level 13 or stage 13 at Dimensional Rift. Really was hoping by the time I got up there, I'd at least be seeing one of these things show up every time I go through it, but that just doesn't seem to be the case. But this is one I really want to try to get the engraving unlocked to see how this actually works with a 30% chance of the allies attacking and doing 100%, 115, 130, and 140% the attack damage. The way that's kind of word to me sounds like whatever it is, they're going to be having Jack's attack on it. But really, like I said, completely don't have any idea how it works, but it does sound really cool. I was really hoping to see more of these in the game, given that it's not a lighter dark hero, but surprisingly, I'm getting Lena's on both accounts before getting Jack. And the way that sounds made it seem like I'm not getting Jack, like I'm not getting nothing or nothing good. No, I'm not getting the hero Jack. But I guess the big thing is we'll have to wait three, four months to get this hero leveled up to compare it with the other ones and actually see how it performs. Once I get these things to eight stars, I'll probably make a video on them just to kind of see how good the Awakened skill is. But this is what I'm seeing so far and it seems to be pretty strong to me. If you guys haven't seen the new hero Lena yet, make sure you take a look at this video right here. Thanks for watching and remember, I pick my butt.